finisher around the rim. One for each preeminent slash. Yeah, he's extremely productive in the pick and roll, able to score and make plays for others with his outstanding vision. It's Bosch with the drive. Here's Anderson. And he gets it to go. A good job of spotting his teammate near the basket and zipping the pass right in there. Holiday, the pass to Asha. Davis inside. He's up against Bosch. They get it back. That's terrific defense right there to prevent defense. from converting in close. And it's Omer Ashik with the foul. First that is his first foul of the game. It's stolen by Davis. Well, in the first half, he was flawless when it came to handling the ball, but that has not been the case here since halftime. Just over three and a half minutes through the third quarter of play now. Wade drives in. Oh! oh, oh, oh. Up high and down that's hard. That's right. Yeah, that's right. You missed the <laughs> The solo alley oop. That's not something we see too often. Uh, timed it perfectly. You're right. And uh, caught the defense totally off guard. I remember Tracy McGrady doing that. First guy I ever saw pull that off. That's an example there, guys, of contesting the shot and corralling the board. That's really all you can ask of a guy at that end of the floor. Well, dang is the definition of the game. He averaged over 38 minutes a game over the last five seasons with the Bulls. Play with a fractured thumb, two more ligaments in his wrist. He always goes all out at both ends every time he's on the court. And Miami making a change here. Whiteside's checked in for Anderson. Sean Williams checks in for Chris Bosch. And as he's checked in for Dwayne Wade. And it's Napier in for Mario Chalmers. Davis dishes to Gordon. And fouled hard that time. He'll get to the line and shoot two. And when you talk about the physical call for Dan playing those long minutes, tremendous discipline and dedication to keep his body ready to go. You know, his hard work and leadership has to be missed by the Bulls on and off the court. The Heat making a switch here. Rangers checked in. And Verdang back in the 2013 playoffs. He tried to practice through complications from a spinal tap. You don't hear that very often. That was a life-threatening condition. And Kevin, he was unhappy with his care during that incident and said nobody from the Bulls checked up on him at the hospital. So I think that cast a real cloud over their ensuing contract negotiations. It's Davis with the drive. Excellent D there from Williams. The Heat leading by five. There's the triple. Pass to Napier. On the wing, Granger. Fires for three. Pelicans pull it in. Ashik's got nine rebounds in the game. Getting it done. Right side, Holiday. Can't hit. And Miami the other way now. They've led by as many as 11 points. You know, something that's kept this game close is the fact that the rebound totals are, are almost identical. No separation there. Not yet, anyway. Two-second difference between shot clock and game clock. And Ashik kicks to Evans. Nailed from three-point land. They got on this roll a while ago, and they just haven't looked back. Takes the three. Out of bounds, New Orleans will take possession. I can tell you what, wandering aimlessly out of bounds like that might earn him a ticket to the bench. And here's Rivers. Up in time. The Pelicans shooting not great, 40% for the game. And for Miami, look at who they've got out there. Baj and the Birdman, Chris Anderson at the four and five. Chalmers and D. Wade are the guards. And it's Dang in at the small forward. Wade outside. 
Kick to the left side wing. Bosch can't get it to go. The Pelicans trail. Kicks to Rivers. And the whistle blows. He decides to foul intentionally for some reason. Ah. Uh, I'm not sure why you would foul right there. I mean, that's obviously not the smart thing to do. So a mistake there. And Miami going with a whole new group out there. Fredette inside the three-point line. He nails it. And we're tied up. Fredette's got the first points up on the board here in the fourth for the Pelicans. Here's Williams. And he didn't get quite enough under that one. That's a shot he's got to hit. You don't get too many better looks from that range. So they take the lead. And now a three-point New Orleans lead. There's the three. Williams with another miss. And he's having all sorts of problems with his shot. I'm not sure he even has a shot right now, Steve, to be quite honest. Not a reliable one anyway. There's the double team from Whiteside. And it's out of bounds. The Heat will take it the other way. Well, that's inexcusable to throw a pass that far off the mark. A different look for Miami. And it's Dang in the corner. And Chalmers kicks to Dang. Launches it. Good, and it's Chalmers with the assist that time. Dang's got the game tied up here for Miami. Defensively, they can't afford to back off of him that much. You don't want to be giving up easy threes, especially at this stage of the game. They get it back. Left side, Bosch. Shoots the three. Offensive rebound. New Orleans has gone one of three from outside the arc since we've reached the fourth quarter. Here's Rivers. Withy passes to Fredette. Fires the three. For Miami, they've gone just one of six from the field to start the fourth quarter. A bit of a slowdown for them right now. And a big pounce off the rim, but it sinks right in. And that 17 points for Chris Bosch. Rivers dishes the Fredette. Rebound by the Heat. Anderson's got 10 rebounds here tonight. So active. A platoon swap here for New Orleans. A three from Bosch. Bosch with another miss. Looks like he's just trying to shoot his way out of this cold spell, but uh, I don't know about that shot attempt. And Ashik kicks to Davis. Stolen by Anderson. And it's Eric Gordon with the foul. And that'll be his third foul so far. And Chalmers kicks to Bosch. He hasn't been able to make anything here in the second half. Miami no good on that time either. Evans with it. Wade picks him up. Davis drives in. So the whistle blows on the shot and two free throws for the contact right there. And taking a quick look here at the hustle stats for Miami. Guys, one of the themes in this game has been how much of their scoring has come off turnovers. And another thing they're doing is really taking advantage of fast break opportunities, scoring some easy baskets. And this is checked in for Dwayne Wade. That's good. 20 points for Chris Bosch. Wow. Wow. What a great performance from him. He's hit three in each half. Shot is good, and the Heat's lead is cut down to one on the bucket from Evans. Here's Bosch. Not wasting any time and taking the shot and knocking it down. Bosch has got 22. Crucial basket there. As long as they've got that mismatch there, big versus small, they should continue to exploit it. And they will, Steve. You can be sure of that. Very well done. He is a confident, dynamic scorer. Holiday inside the line. Chris Anderson pulls it in. Anderson's got 11 rebounds in the game. And the foul on Drew Holiday. 
That will get him his fourth foul of the game. And Miami making a change here. Rangers checked in. Pelicans trailed by five. For three, Gordon. Yes, and a nice assist from Evans. And it's nine points for Eric Gordon. And here's Chalmers from the arc. Good D by Holiday. Boy, just by his body language, Kevin, you can tell he thought that triple was going to fall. Yeah, a little frustrated now, shaking his head after that miss. New Orleans moving it around. Knocked away. What a great game for Granger in this one. Nine point. He's come away with two steals as well. He's blown up some plays out there. It shows you what an intelligent defender he can be on the ball. He really understands the game. Wade, he's checked in for Ennis. Yeah, they seem to be looking for chances inside a little bit more this half. And I love that mentality. You talked about it earlier, being the aggressor. It's the right way to play with the lead. Keep attacking. Easy call there. No question about that one. You can hear the impact from where I am. And the Heat with some changes. Hanslem comes in for Anderson. And Chris Bosh is subbed in for Danny Granger. He got them to within one possession, but that one miss puts a lot of pressure on him at the defensive end. If he can improve on what's been a shaky day for him thus far, they could stretch this lead out. Goes up from the top of the key. And the rebound goes to the Pelicans. And it is very dangerous to leave him open like that. Lucky break for the defense that he missed it. Boy, in the film session, they'll say that was a well-challenged shot. And it's out of bounds to the Heat as Miami retains possession. Heat shoot in the fourth quarter, not pretty, down around 29%. Out of bounds, New Orleans will take possession. Where was he going with that pass? I mean, that's just an awful turnover. We've got a nine-second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. Gordon, the pass to Evans. Back to Gordon. Holiday dishes to Gordon. Here's Evans to tie it up. And it's Haslam with the rebound. I like the defense, guys. Really getting a hand up and challenging shots. Yes, Steve, lurking on that shot, and that was a tough one. Here's Evans. That's good. And so the big win by 